Okay, this video is on setting up modules and you can see here's a list of all the current modules that are in Local Theme Jack and at the moment there are 26 and this video is going to be setting up the big menu. So I'm going to go to a page that I've already started and I just I have um, a blurb on the top and the section setting already has an image so I could have selected uh, a preset style from Style Wizard or selected to fill the background with a color or put videos in there and I'm going to stick with the image that I've uploaded and will save the section and I can set the row color, row image, etc. as something different if I want. Um, again, style wizard, upload an image or select a background color. Uh, I can choose to add padding and margins and border radius and for now I think I will leave it just as it is which means that this row will take the settings from the section because I'm not making any changes so this section here will determine what's going on for the row as well. And I'm going to go ahead and add columns and I'm going to add one. And the module will be the big menu. And we'll just need to learn how to spell. This determines the font size of the big menu. Font style is bold or normal. You can set whatever font size you want. And if you know CSS, you can select to um, show advanced styles. So we're going to add the first setting and I'm going to select a page. Now I could s create a custom link or choose from any of the pages that are in the site already and I'm going to do that. I'll choose dental services and decide whether I want it to open in the same window or a new tab and I will pick new tab and this is going to be and I'll select the background color and if you know uh, if you want specific colors and you have the HTML code you can enter that here or come and choose from you can slide this all over the place and choose whatever color you want and let's go here make it a little darker the text color let's set red and the text orientation I want it centered the hover background color that is when you hover your mouse over the button it's going to be a different color. So the background color is a light green. Let's do blue and the hover text color. I think I selected red for the text color. Hover text color will make white. So we'll insert that and I'm going to add another big menu button and let's see, we're going to do dog walker. So 
So I'm going to select the dog walker page and I want this to open in a new tab. The button text will be dog walker and I'm going to select different colors than what I did for the first window. So we'll do a little darker. The text color will set for white. All right. The text orientation I want centered and hover color background will be all right and hover text color will make black all right and insert that and I'll just do one more and I will select a page We'll do hospital services. And we'll select the hospital services page. And I want this to open in a new tab. Now this it's totally your choice whether you want it in a new tab or in the same. The background color um and I don't remember what I've what I've selected so far. Um, okay, text color we'll do all right, we'll do black. And text orientation center hover background color there and hover text color will be there. Okay, and we'll insert that into the menu. So now I have three menus or three buttons in my big menu settings and I'm going to save this and update and preview changes and here we have our big menu. So when I click on dental services, dental services opens in a new page, in a new tab. And you see when I when I hover my mouse over the button the background and the text color change and that is it for big menu play around with it play around with where you place it and the next video will be on categories